Hey everybody, it's Glasses Senpai here. Uh, today we're going to be doing a review of A Silent Voice, which is a manga series that is kind of not really well known. However, in September of 2016, it is getting a movie adaptation, <laughs> which I'm greatly looking forward to. But uh, <clears throat> the question is. Whoa, I guess back. The question is, um, well, why is it getting a movie adaptation? I've never, ever even heard of this manga before. So, I'm gonna tell you why exactly it's getting a, uh, a theatrical release or theater release, whatever, however you pronounce that. <clears throat> so, first off, I'd like to start off with the fact that it is written by a relatively up-and-coming manga artist. It's written by Uima Yoshitoki. Yeah, pretty sure. I know I probably butchered that. But um, she originally started out the manga as a one-shot. So for those of you guys who aren't necessarily familiar with all the different uh, manga terms, <clears throat> a one-shot is where an artist will, or manga ka, will submit a literally like a one chapter story. It's probably about 20 to 40 pages long, if not even shorter than that. But basically, it's got to be able to tell a very simple but captivating story where you can have an easy, nice little beginning and end um, in 40 pages. So, I've tried a one. I've tried doing one shots before. They're pretty tricky to do because 40 pages might sound like a lot, but when you're trying to tell a st like a really good story, it's pretty difficult to fit so much content into 40 pages. <clears throat> so that's what a one shot is. As you can tell, it's no longer a one shot. It has of as of this current. Uh, date. It has seven volumes released in Japan. However, only six volumes have been translated into English. So, sorry guys, you have to wait until volume seven of A Silent Voice comes out. Oh. <clears throat> but we still got a good chunk of the story already in English. So far, I have read volumes one through three. Um, they're pretty good. I really enjoyed it. I'm gonna buy volumes four through six <laughs> once I get paid here soon. Well, here's another interesting fact. Um, she actually had to deal with a lawsuit to get this manga published. And this is still like in its one-shot stage, I believe. So this, this whole uh, series almost really wasn't a thing. But uh, our, our uh, manga ka here, Uyima, she uh, troopered through it and fought the lawsuit and she actually did get it published. And that's how we have, well, the A Silent Voice series, which is really good. Now you might be wondering, well, that's stupid. Why did they like try to like make a lawsuit? Well, you see, there is a lawsuit about um, just like it's social, as I quote, a socio-critical theme. Basically, I guess uh, <laughs> perhaps let's see here. I don't know, making life too realistic. <laughs> yeah, I know how to pull that one. But um, yeah, so I think that's pretty crazy but uh, I'm really happy that it's actually that it actually made it through that stage and did get a uh, published release I mean if it didn't we wouldn't be having this uh, new movie coming up so very happy about that um, another interesting fact here is uh, she collaborated with Ubukuta um, To for the manga uh, of uh, Marduk's Scramble. 
Now, some of you guys may or may not have ever heard of Mardok, Mardok Scramble. Well, um, it's a very, it's a very unique movie and or story. Basically, story about a teenage girl who was killed <clears throat> by, um, kind of like a mafia boss. If you're a younger viewer, I would <clears throat> definitely not recommend this for you. It is a very uh, mature story setting, but um, it's a pretty interesting story. But as I said, it is extremely uh, mature content. Not to mention it's really kind of out there. That's like honestly the best way I can put it. The story is just really out there. It's a little bit strange. But um, still, I will say the storytelling wasn't too bad. It was very unique, which I actually kind of liked the very unique perspective um, that it had to offer. It's, yeah, it's just really for mature audiences. I honestly cannot say that enough because um, it really is kind of out there. Anywho, <clears throat> um, just one quick last little fact before I uh, put my paintbrush down here. Um, it has sold, the whole manga series as a whole has sold over 2.5 million copies. So yeah, it's pretty big over in Japan. However, over here in the Western market, it really hasn't really hit shelves as much. I mean, if you go to your local Barnes & Noble, this is not sponsored, um, you'll probably find it um, somewhere on the bookshelf in a very obscure location. But it is out there in uh, American stores, so you can find it. So it might even be in your library. Um, my, I know my local library carries like <laughs> two volumes of it, but hey, that's better than nothing. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and joining me on this episode of Talk and Draw. Uh, let me know what you guys think uh, about A Silent Voice, if you guys have read it. Um, if you haven't read it yet, I would highly recommend that you guys do. And uh, just a quick a little string of announcements. I now have a Twitter account that you can go follow me on. It is Glasses Senpai. Well, underscore. Well, no, it's Glasses underscore Senpai because, well, you can't have spaces on Twitter. Anyway, so you can go over there, uh, follow me on Twitter. The link is in the description below. And you can also check me out on uh, DeviantArt. Uh, I'll also leave that link down below where you can see the finalized piece of this. Actually, I don't think I ever mentioned what I'm drawing here. This is Nishimiya. Um, she is uh, one of the main characters of A Silent Voice. Um, I'll probably leave a little story thing below the picture in DeviantArt, but uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate your support. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like below. And if you want to see more of this awesome uh, anime related uh, content, go ahead and drop a subscribe so you can just keep up to date with what I'm uh, up to. Anyway, I really appreciate your support and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.